Hello and welcome to a Jewish mother and a Latina. We are very excited today because not only are we going to be making something very special, but we have very special guests with us. Simon, can you say hi to the camera? Say hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Hi. Yeah, we have this adorable child who's going to help us today. We have Gibbs. And Viv, <laughs> who else do we have today? We have um, the beautiful, Simon's beautiful mommy, Jennifer Hava Lekow who is going to be baking with us today. What are we making? We're making macaroons. Mac oh, yum. Let's bring Jennifer in. Come on in, Come Jennifer. On in, Jennifer. This adorable child belongs to Jennifer. This beautiful Jennifer. Uh, yeah, we're making macarons. Macarons, not macarons. Not macarons are a coconut cookie. Oh, oh we're that's making interesting. Macarons. Yes, mac macarons are a French uh, cookie. Oh, oh. Macrons. Yeah. Macrons. 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 Unless you're the Jewish mother, then it's Macrons. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. Did you like it? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> You okay, ready? So Jennifer, you've done some things ahead of time. Tell us what you did ahead yes. of time. So, uh, to save us some time, mm -hmm. I took one cup of the almond flour and a cup and three quarters of confectioner's sugar mm -hmm. in a food processor. So it gets super, super fine mm -hmm. and then sifted twice. Wow. So this way it's super, super fine and you don't see that bumpy uh, topping. That so it's supposed to be super, uh, it takes about 15 minutes. Wow. Okay. Because you want to make sure you sift it and you throw out all the little clumps and stuff. So you don't want any of that in your batter. In your macarons. In your yeah, mac macarons. 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 <laughs> all right, so we're going to head to the kitchen and get started. Yes. Oh boy. So, Jennifer, what are we doing first? Okay, so what we have done so far is we've separated the egg yolks from the egg whites because you don't need egg yolks for macarons mm. at all. All we need is egg whites, and we're going to make something that looks sort of like a marshmallow consistency. Okay. We're going to whip them to the point where we can flip the bowl upside down, and it's not going to fall out. Whoa. Okay. It sounds like macaroni and cheese in a <laughs> department of education How many lunch. eggs? How many eggs? Uh, so we're doing three eggs. Um, this recipe is good for 24 macarons. Wow. Um, so it's two dozen. Oh. Oh. We're going to get it to start going slowly. Right. As we go slowly, the first thing we're adding is a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. 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 Um, everything that we ever eat that's sweet, cakes, cupcakes, we always add salt because if we add purely sugar, it becomes overly sweet and there's no balance to the flavor. Ooh. Then you go like this. Jennifer, where did you learn Don't to bake? Don't touch it. Um, YouTube. Oh, so it's really? really self-talk. Yeah, pretty much. And you have your own little business now. I do. Uh, my Instagram is Guilty Goods NYC. Guilty yeah. Goods. I like yeah, that. Guilty, guilty Goods. Because, goods, you know, it's always a guilty pleasure to have. Sounds um, like a Jewish mother name. That's a great, great name. Sort of where I got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> You can always tell um, when somebody's been raised by a Jewish mother. <laughs> yeah, once the salt is a little bit more dissolved, we tighten up the speed a little bit. Um, I, my little trick to macarons and making them super fluffy, cream of tartare. Ooh, cream of tartare will stiffen your egg whites a lot faster and fold them a lot better. Ooh. Really? Yes, yeah, so you can do about a quarter teaspoon. Right. You eye it. I, 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 I just... Yeah, because you want to do about a quarter teaspoon. Um, the only way to really make it overwhelming is if you just pour the, you know, you don't want to do that because it's very um, bitter. Mm. Um, and then we are going to slowly add a quarter cup of granulated sugar. Okay? And then raise it up. Yes, it's gonna start. It's gonna start fluffing up and start forming peaks. The goal is that you want the peaks to be so stiff that you can flip the bowl upside down and nothing falls out. Okay. Other than Simon, what is like the best dessert you've ever made? I think my favorite cake that I've made. Mm -hmm. There's two. So mm -hmm. the very first one that I was super proud of. It was a vanilla cake with strawberry buttercream inside, but when you cut the cake open, candy fell out. Mm. And on the outside, it was a rosette cake, an ombre rosette cake, so it was all different wow. color, pink roses. Now, do you are you an artist? Like, do you decorate, like a, a cake decorator? 
Or do you mostly do I'm it? working on it. Okay, I'm working okay. on it. Um, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting better, for sure. Excellent. Um, the second one I actually made yesterday. Was it the panda? Oh. It was the panda cake. Oh, it was my best friend's yeah. birthday cake. And my best friend Julie loves... Julie was in your class yeah. with me. Yes. So she loves Julie. pandas. Julie Bartels. Don't know her. <laughs> Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. <laughs> um, yeah, so her cake, it was a vanilla cake with Oreo buttercream, but at the, on the outside it looked like a panda. It came out very cute. So that, that, that was, was adorable. definitely one of my favorites. That's it was just, adorable. Um, so one thing that we are going to do um, is we have to make a decision. Yes. Are we doing vanilla macarons or do you want to do blueberry macarons? Simon, what do you want? Simon, vanilla or blueberry? Blueberry. 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 Okay. We're going to make blueberry because we're going to make blueberry. So. so I brought some blue food coloring, mm -hmm. which we're going to put in the macarons. And then before we ice them, we're going to put some blueberry flavoring on them. Ooh. Okay. Nice. So we're going to put two drops of. That's all it takes? That, the, with the gel food coloring, you'll only need two drops. Oh, wow. And they'll come out like this little baby blue color, so. And now the peaks should be good. There we go. Oh, look at that. So my trick is. That was, really cool. <laughs> that was cool. Ah, so anybody who went to a public school and had the school lunch, you've done this. <laughs> with your macaroni and cheese and maybe some of the other dishes that they've served you. Now, the mixture that we made, the powdered sugar and almond flour. So it was one cup almond flour, one and three quarters cup powdered sugar. Ooh. We're not putting all of this in at the same time. Ooh. And what we want to do is once we're, we're going to fold it in. Okay. We're not just going to mix, we're going to fold it in. No, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, this just makes sure that their air is flowing through the macarons because we want them to be fluffy, yes. So people who are watching, how do you, what does it mean to fold it? I, I'll show you. Oh, okay, never mind. The folding is you're literally picking up the sides and folding it inside. Pick up the sides and fold it in. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, you want to pick it up and fold it back in. What we're looking for as we're mixing um, towards the end. Once you finish your third uh, edition of the flour mixture, mm -hmm. you want it to be a ribbon effect. So you want to be able to pick it up and draw the number eight without the batter breaking. Okay. And that's how you know it's ready. So it'll, it takes about 35 to 40 folds. So another little trick I learned on YouTube, actually, mm -hmm. is the fastest and easiest way to fill a piping bag without it getting everywhere. If you put it in a cup and fold it over, that is clever. Awesome. So that'll put that in. I'm sorry. There you go. You can see. He wants to uh, see you the blue. See this? He wants to see the blue. Whoa! All right. So then you just scoop in the batter. Wow. It's like a dentist filling a tooth. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Except we're not packing it in. And this tastes much better than what the dentist packs in it. Sure. And you have to be gentle when you're putting it in there. Yes. Everything you don't, you don't, you don't want to pack it in too tight because um, the there's air bubbles in here that we sort of need until we're going to bang them out at the end. Right. Before we put them in the oven. Okay. Um, in the meantime, you do want your oven to be at about 300 degrees okay. uh, preheated. Okay, so we're going to just cut... Um, so that we have, it's going to start coming out, and so this is going to be super easy. We're just going to plop until it gets almost, and then up. We're going to squeeze, 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 till it almost reaches the yeah. outside rim of that little pack. Yeah. I think we should try this. Oh. If it's All okay. right, go for it. Is it okay? Yeah. Can I do it on Simon's head? No. <laughs> You're going to squeeze. Push down so that you can fill the cookie. No, 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 don't move it around. Oh. You're just gonna squeeze and up. Oh, okay. Squeeze and up. Yep. Okay. Squeeze. This is fun. Squeeze and up. Okay. You want to try? Sure. <laughs> squeeze. Squeeze and up. Oh, that one's too off center. It's okay. Wait, that one's off. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a lot. It's so okay. fired. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So now, <laughs> as we know, there's a bunch of bubbles in here, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But when we cook, what happens to the bubbles? They explode. They, they explode, right? So we don't want them to explode, so we want to release some of the bubbles. And this is where it gets loud, so I don't recommend doing this with children sleeping in the house. Okay. We're going to bang it on the table five times. Okay. okay. One, two. Ooh. You okay, Gibbs? <laughs> all right, so you're going to see all these air bubbles oh, came yeah. out on top. Yeah. All right, so that's what we want. We want those bubbles to come out. We want those bubbles to come up all the way to the top. Got it. Okay, and it also, you'll see how they started becoming more circular. They mm -hmm. fell out a little bit. If you see anything extra, cleaning them an extra few times, it doesn't hurt. Okay, it's been oh, 25 right. minutes. 25 okay, minutes. Okay, we got 25 minutes. So now when we have our, this is before it goes in the oven. Mm -hmm. What you want to be able to do is run your finger over the top of it. See, that one broke. Yes. That's because I was a little rough. Okay. It'll still rise, but you want to be able to very gently run your finger over it and feel it dry. Go ahead. Very gently. Okay, Gibbs. Nice. You feel that, right? Gotcha. Oh, yes, yeah. it's got a little film. Exactly. Uh -uh. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, and we're going to put it in the oven. And what they're going to do is they're going to rise. So right on we're not going to use a, a cooling rack for that. We're going to use the cookie sheet. Okay. And it goes in the oven right on the silicone mat. Yep, right on the silicone mat. The silicone mat is made to withstand, I believe, up to 375 degrees. Uh, okay. There we go. Watch out, kids. And then it's ready to kids, go. Watch out, please. Okay. 300 degrees for 17 to 20 minutes. Okay. So we're going to make some basic buttercream. Okay. Oh, super basic, oh, delicious, never had an issue with it, right? Okay. So I like to get the half sticks of butter mm -hmm. because sometimes you don't need a full stick. Okay. I didn't um, know in this case, this. they did. Lana Lakes does it. Mm -hmm. This way they don't sponsor me. <laughs> No sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> so you want your butter to get to room temperature, so you want it to be super soft, right? Mm -hmm. This way it makes it easier and it blends better with the sugar. Okay. So you, the easiest thing to use, you can use a hand mixer if you have one, but mm -hmm. we're going to use a stand mixer because they are that much easier to work with. Um, this one is a lot heavier than the one it's I have. Heavy? Yeah. It is heavy. I remember the one made. Yeah, so we're going to put it in and you're going to notice it's different than the last one. We used a whisk because we were trying to make something fluffy, mm -hmm. whereas opposed to now we're going to use a paddle attachment because we're trying to make it smooth. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Well, you really did watch those YouTube videos. I did. <laughs> I did. I'm impressed. A lot of Instagram videos, a lot of YouTube videos. Um, and when the butter is super soft, you don't really need to mix it for that much, for that long for mm -hmm. it to yeah, have like a really smooth, good. creamy consistency. I think the 90 degree weather today is helping also. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And the oven on in the kitchen. <laughs> so just like we did with the batter, we're going to use a little bit of salt to cut, because the, cut the sweetness because mm -hmm. um, it's going to be... So you don't go like this. Yeah, so it's not overly, so you're not just eating straight sugar. Right. For the most part. I mean, you are, but not really. <laughs> we'll pretend. We'll pretend. We like to pretend. We just mix that in. Um, we're also going to do a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Vanilla extract. Um, What's half a teaspoon? Wow. Half a teaspoon. Well, we only used about one stick of butter right because we're only doing a dozen cookies mm -hmm. um and we don't it you'll see it's going to get a lot bigger once we Bye. add the confectioner sugar mm -hmm. um for the meantime Bye. we don't need a lot of the yeah, that stuff is strong yeah so it does have a very strong mm -hmm. very powerful we're also since we're do we are making blueberry macarons we're going to use some blueberry flavoring extract Ooh. And we're going to use it twice in this recipe. How's it looking? And we'll scrape off the sides so that we can get a nice mixture in there. Because you're going to see there's still some vanilla extract. A lot of recipes you're going to see online are going to say add the vanilla extract after the sugar. I like to do it before because you want the buttercream to have that flavor. Yeah. Um, instead of sort of add it at the end. Okay. So I let it, you know, sit a little bit longer. Alright. 
And as it's on its lowest setting, we're going to put in literally, I use the cap okay. as a measuring device. I do about half a capful because this is very, very strong. I'm sure you can smell it. Ooh. Oh, that is strong. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to make a blueberry that. flavored buttercream. Where do you buy that? Yeah, Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Oh. Amazon has been my best friend. Mm. Amazon when everybody has else started everything. Yeah. Amazon does have everything that you can look for. Isn't that uh, incredible? Everything from a cake turner, like the turntable, yes. to everything. everything. Including ingredients. Mm -hmm. So uh, the they don't do matchmaking though on Amazon. No, they don't. <laughs> I'm sure you're not going to find see. a husband on Amazon. I mean, no, I don't that's know. okay. That's actually a good idea. You know, <laughs> people in your area who order similar items. Yes. <laughs> Amazon, That's if awesome. you do this, I want to cut. <laughs> okay, no, I said I was going to measure up. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this is a third of a cup. Yes. Okay. Measuring cup. Um, I, do you want to take a guess as to how much you usually use? Are we going to say maybe about a cup and a half? Okay, let's Four see. Or one stick of butter, I want to say, but we'll see. Now right, we're going to add in a little bit at a time and increase the speed. Uh, I, you are using confectioner sugar, do not put it on a high speed oh, right away. Oh, you will yes, end up yes. with sugar everywhere. <laughs> sugar on right? the ceiling! That's happened before, right Simon? Yeah, we cleaned up a lot of sugar. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to increase the speed Oops. slowly because you do want to keep it whipping. The longer you keep it whipping and the faster it goes, is the lighter that it's going to get. So if you want a white, you have to whip it really, really fast for a few minutes. See it? Whoop, see it? Yep. There it goes. Every time you add sugar, you bring it down. You bring it down. I just got a taste of sugar <laughs> in my <laughs> mouth. Uh, I'm pretty sure my lungs are filled with powdered sugar. <laughs> they this are. Way. Um, not for the good. yeah, no. All right, so this will be two thirds. All right, this is going to be our one cup of sugar. At this point, this is our third. One third. Okay. Okay. So we're at the one. We're at the one cup mark. Randy, do you see how much we're mapping today? Yeah. <laughs> Almost done, Simon. All right. So we're at a cup and a third. How do I do it? Because it's still a little too uh, buttery. Buttery. Okay. Now, how can you tell if it's too buttery? Oh, it's still yellow. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, it's yellow. So oh, yellow. Yeah. oh yeah. Look at that. Not yet, baby. Not yet. Okay. How do it. Here, you want to turn it on? Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. We're going to turn it on. Ready? Perfect. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. High five. Woo! Good job, yeah. my little helper. All right. So. That's ready. That's ready. Yeah. And it's going to be ready to be piped onto the cookies once they come out of the oven. Okay. Just cookies right at this point. But These were in the oven how long again? These ended up in the oven for 18 and a half minutes. Okay. 19 okay. minutes. So, um, it does depend on the oven. You do want to watch them rise. Now, you're going to notice that some of them have cracks on them. Mm -hmm. um, one, we knew that I cracked when I was checking the right. top of it. <laughs> right. The other ones, I do want to say we didn't leave them out long enough. Before so we, we left out. them out for 25 minutes. Right. So normally, I would say, because it's really hot today, yes. and it's really humid, and all of this does play an effect on these things, right. leave it out for 35, 40 minutes. The longer you leave it up, up to an hour, Oh, the longer, wow. You can leave it out up to an hour. The longer wow. you leave it out, the better. Um, normally, I leave them out, and I sometimes do forget them. And if I'm making them a cake, if I'm making a cake that these are usually a topper for, um, they usually stay out a little bit, a little bit longer. But 25 minutes, you want it to be the minimum, especially if you're doing it in the winter right. with dry weather, cold. It becomes a lot easier and a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, we did get a few really good looking ones, mm -hmm. and you're gonna see they have these little feet. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. That's called the feet, right. and the bottoms are going to be flat, and you're going to see the circles, which is the beauty of those, uh, the macaron mat. You're going to see the circle in the middle, and that's how, that's where you're piping on. So we're going to cut off the tip. There we go. She's a moil. <laughs> Oh, is, that, is that the guy that does the Yes. yes. <laughs> and so you want to put it on to the bag. You're going to oh, wow. squeeze it in. And make a sandwich. And make a sandwich. And you got yourself in oh, 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 so Look at there that. You welcome. Hey, come See you later. <laughs> I got what I came for. Gibby? No. <laughs> All right. We're going to put one 
We got one for Peter. Yes, we do. It's right up here. The very first one. Oh, Peter, you, you get go. the first one. There you go, Mr. Yeah. Pete. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers, Cheers, that was everybody. Peter's arm, by the way. Cheers. Cheers. Jennifer. L'chaim. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Salud. Thank <laughs> you so much for joining us yes. today. It's, oh, this was a pleasure. Absolutely. And okay. like I said, wow. Mmm. 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 You put the whole thing in your face. Mmm. 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 This is delicious. Look at how pretty. Thank you, Jennifer, so much. Yeah, the inside is nice and bright blue. You can come bake with us anytime. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. <laughs> mm. And Simon, you were such a big helper. Thank you. High five. Good yeah. job. <laughs> Thank you for joining us again for a Jewish mother and a Latina and Jennifer. And a random baker. And a random and baker. A random baker. Uh, the Not so good random. baker. Not so random. <laughs> we picked her up off the street. <laughs> Thank you again, Jen. This was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. And we will see you soon. What number was that? I don't know. We lost count. <laughs>